हरे विष्णु पीतांबरे सप्तमी विष्णु निष्ठा विशेषण कृष्ण नाम संख्या नाम दंड हस्तादि वर्जम इन पीतांबर ओके एक्चुअली वी डिड दिस फॉर द पीतांबर कंपाउंड सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग द पूर्व निपात लाइक द कन्वेंशनल यूजेज ऑफ पुटिंग वर्ड्स लाइक एट द फर्स्ट प्लेस पूर्व निपात लाइक इन द कंपाउंड सूत्र नाइनटी सिक्स नाइन नाइनटी सिक्स एक शेष राम The words "ekasya shesho Rama Krishna" are to be added in the subsequent sutras. Amrita says, "Now the rules, which are exceptions, apavadas of the Rama Krishna samasa, will be described in accordance with Mahabhashya's statement: 'Pratyartham shabda abhinivesha.' There is usage of a word for every object." the rule is as many words are used as there are objects ek shesha the remaining of only one word however is ordained as an apavad of this rule mm. thus when there are two objects the word has to be repeated twice reference uh, gopi cha gopi cha in the next vritti similarly if there are three objects the word has to be repeated three times and so on for example वृक्षस्त 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 बिकम्स वृक्षा ओके तुल्य शब्द नाम भिन्नार्था नाम अपी इन राम कृष्ण समास ओनली वन ऑफ द वर्ड्स व्हिच हैव द सेम फॉर्म रिमेंस इवन इफ द वर्ड्स हैव डिफरेंट मीनिंग्स सो एक शेष इफ यू सी दर्ड इट सेल्फ एक शेष एक मीन्स वन शेष मीन्स लाइक द रिमेन्डर सो लाइक वेन ओनली वन थिंग और वन वर्ड रिमेन्स स्टेज इन या सो वेन वी हैव द विग्रह गोपी च गोपी च वी गेट गोप्य so the thing is that the result of this rule is that instead of getting the ram krishna compound gopi gopyo we simply get gopyo so if we didn't have this ek shesha concept then even for the same kind of objects or names we would have to you know do the usual samasa like ram krishna gopi gopyo in case like vyati se uh so um vyati say you surpass so it is seen that shakti of what is deleted is invested in the total remaining portion okay i mean that's understood like when gopi cha gopi cha we say and then we turn it into gopyo so the shakti of the deleted word enters into what is remaining yeah i mean that's understood <clears throat> the sanskrit one is nice it says sarvatra avashishte eva this is avashishte sarvatra avashishte eva अवशिष्टे मीन्स द रिमेनिंग लुप्त से शक्ति आरोप दृश्यते शक्ति ऑफ वट इज डिलेटेड इज इन्वेस्टेड इन द टोटल रिमेनिंग पोर्शन सर्वत्र अवशिष्ट एवं लुप्त से शक्ति आरोप दृश्यते द सेम प्रिंसिपल 
applies here and thus two gopis are expressed by the one word gopi ek shesha is not done in instances like dvaucha dvaucha and so on because such is not mentioned by the previous authorities In other words, is that Arsha Prayog? Um, actually, especially with numerals, you know, like numerals, when they're compounded, like the way of, you know, like doing multiplications, addition, subtraction in numerals in Sanskrit, it's then in Samasa itself, right? Uh, so that's also one thing. We can say Arsha Prayoga, it says previous authorities. An example of the phrase Bhinna Arthana Mapi is that when we have the Vigraha Krishnascha Krishnascha, Krishna and Krishna, where the first word Krishna means Vasudev and the second word Krishna means Arjuna, we get Krishna. Likewise, we get Rama, the three Ramas. So even if the meanings are different, but if the word is the same, then we also go for Ekushesh Samasa. Like in Gopicha Gopicha, the meaning was also the same. So the Samasa was done, Ekushesh. So it says Tulle Shabda Nam means words which have the same form, Tulle Shabda, and Bhinna, bhinna Artha Nam. Uh, bhinna Artha Nam means even though they are also Tulle Shabda, the words are the same. But even if the meanings are different, then also we do the Ekashesha Samasa. Yeah. Okay, now this example here. Another example is when we have the Vikraha Padascha, 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 where the first word Pada means a foot, the second word Pada means a quarter of a verse, and the third word Pada means the foot of a mountain. We get Pada. We get Pada. Such Ekushesha, if they come like in some verse or something, then without uh, like explanations, commentaries become a little difficult to identify the different uh, elements or different meanings of the same word. The Bhinna Artha, basically. Lakshmya Sahoktau Purushottamasyatan Matram Ched Visheshaha. So, When a masculine word is mentioned along with the feminine word in a Ramakrishna compound, only the masculine word remains provided the difference between the two words is only that of gender. For example, when we have the Vigraha Gopascha Gopyascha we get Gopaha. Yeah, so basically it's on the meaning actually is the same. We can't really say here that it's Bhinna Artha. No, it's not Bhinna Artha. It's Tulle Shabda and Tulle Artha also. Tulle Shabda and Tulle Artha, only the gender. It's only the Bhinna Linga. So in such case, we, we take the masculine one remains. So masculine one is the Ekashesha here. So here Gopa refers to Gopa and Gopeha both. Yeah, this comes a lot in Bhagavatam. Like I was reading recently 10th Canto. Uh, so 
they were referring they, it was written gopa but was referring to the gopis even uh, by this word so this ekshesha is used regarding gopa there is essentially no difference between the words gopa and gopi the only difference between them is that one of them has the feminine pratyaya ip right that's also there the root is the same similarly when we have the vigraha brahmanascha brahmanicha oh, we get brahmano when we have the vigraha vidwan vidushicha we get vidvangso i mean because referring to two uh, when we have the vigraha shriman shrimati we get shrimanto vigraha karta kartri we get kartaro yuva yuvati we get yuvano yuvano actually that's why if you see uh nikunja you know ratikeli siddhya you know so that's 6.2 that looks like actually ekshesha samasa you know of course i believe in both the genders the form is the same but still more technically speaking bhavascha bhavani cha we get bhavo yeah if we get different different gopascha brahmanascha we get gopa brahmano hmm exceptional cases are bhratara which means bhratri swasara brother and sister putra which means putra duhita duhitara pitara mata pitara shwashura shwashu shwashura and so on so in these even the words they changed both the words they are not like they are bhinna artha but still ekshesha is done bhinnarthanam api so pitara mata pitara like even in english we say parents i mean i think that would be different yeah pitara refers to mata pitara hmm. does ends the section dealing with ekshesha uh the remaining only of only one word vishnu jana ramantat purva padat swanga amurdha mastakat ner mahahara nishedho kame when a word other than kama follows the mahahara of ni is prohibited after a purva pada other than murdhan or mastaka that ends in vishnu jana or rama they not so limit in the strict sense so when a word other than kama follows the mahahara of ni is prohibited after a purva pada this is like a luk samas uh, other than murdhan or mastaka that ends in vishnu jana or rama now for example when we have the vigraha urasi lomani asya uras is the chest so this is seven one form urasi lomani loma refers to the hair and lomani bahuvachana plural asya so we get urasi loma so on one one on whose chest there is hair so urasi lomani asya and urasi also refers or denotes a limb right uras it's a chest similarly we get kanthe kala so kantha is kanthe is seven one of kantha so one on whose neck there is black that's the name of lord shiva um but the prohibition does not apply in the cases of anguli tranah 
one on whose thumb there is a thimble like armor mur the shikha uh one on whose head there is a shikha it doesn't say murdhani shikha it says murdh shikha shikha mastak mani hi it doesn't say mastake mani hi because it's prohibited here in the sutra itself mukha kama kama also was prohibited one in whose mouth there is cupid it it doesn't say mukhe kama so so that was aluk samas as i was referring to does ends the section dealing with aluk samas uh okay have you done some like shlokas in that um anvayas I had a long time ago. It's been a long time since we did the anvayas. At the, I mean, yeah, at the yeah. last time that I knew that there, there were some remaining. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, one second. <clears throat> by the way like uh, in july is uh, vyas puja of my guru dev so like in, you know every year we write offerings uh for the vyas puja so this year i tried writing in sanskrit and uh, the offering the glorification and uh, i wrote an ashtakam this year yeah goodness yeah i mean so i wrote the whole thing in Sansk sanskrit and uh, then i wrote this ashtakam so i named it i named it gurudev ashtakam um uh, so uh, this is the same meter as shachi suta ashtakam the navagauravaram the same meter um uh, yeah so yep can yeah, understand it okay chapter 11 
Okay, I mean, let's do from 35. Am I audible? Yeah. Saisha nara loke svin avatirna svamayaya Reme stri ratna kutastho bhagavan prakrito yatha Sah esha bhagavan Asmin nara loke Prithivyam svamayaya svashaktya Sashaktya Yoga Mayaya Avatirina Hassan Stri Ratana Kutastha Uttama Stri Kadambastha Sancha Uttama Stri Kadambastha Sancha Prakrita Prakrita Guna Jata Sadharana Manushayata Eva Remestri Ratnai Ramanam Chakara. So he that same Lord Shri Krishna in this Naraloka, in, on this earthly planet, uh, through his Sashaktya Yoga Mayaya Avatirinahasan, having appeared like through his uh, energy, potency, Yoga Maya, and he resembles or yeah, he presents himself as Prakrita Manusha, as a normal human being, Sadharana Manusha, who is Prakriti Guna Jataha, uh, who's also born of you know the, the qualities of the three modes of nature. The, yeah, who is affected by them, and who is Tri Ratna Kutastha. Uh, what is Kadambastha? Kadamba. Okay, Kadamba refers to like Samu, collection, troop, multitude. So, Stri Ratna Kutastha, Uttama Sri Kadamba Staha Sancha. So, basically, he appears and then after appearing, he shows himself as a normal human being who is surrounded by or who's situated amongst uh, uh, like multitude of the best of the the women women uttama stri kadambastha and in this way reme stri ratnai ramanam chakara he enjoys the pastimes uh, with the best of the strees the women reme <laughs> Oh, 36 and 7, they are together. Uddhama bhava pishunam. Wait, sorry. Uh, so, so this, I didn't understand. Pra, pra, prakrite guna jata. Uh, mm -hmm. Why is it? So, so that's as, is it as if he's, as if he's, uh, you know, a, a prakrit, or I don't understand. Yeah, uh, the next word says the next word says yatha, as if. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, if if you see prakrita ha yatha. Uddam bhav pishona malaval guhasa. Vridava loka nihato madano piyasam Samuhiya chapa majahat pramadotamasta yasendriyam vimatitum kuhakair na shekuhu Tamayam manyate loko yasangam api zanginam Atma upamyena manujam vyaprindvanam yato buddha <coughs> Yasam Uttamastrinam 
उद्दाम भाव पिशुनाम लवल गुहास वृडावलोक निहत उद्दाम गंभीर यह भाव अभिप्राय तस्य पिशुन सूचक यह अमल वलगु सुंदर हास वृडावलोक निहत ओके अमदन श्री महादेव अपि सम्मूह्य मोहम प्राप्त सन् लज्जया चापम पिनाक अजहात परितक्तवान प्रमो प्रमदोत्तमा उत्तम स्त्रिय कुहक कपटे विभ्रम यीकृष्ण से इंद्रिय मन विमति क्षोभय न शेकु शक्ता ओके आई एक्सप्लेन टिल हेयर फर्स्ट सो यासा of whom like of the uttam stries of the best of the women uh uddam bhav pishuna amala valgu has vrida avaloka nihatah so of so one who is nihatah one who is like overcome overwhelmed or affected badly by nihatah by the vrida avalokah you know the avalokana the glands which is equipped with or which is with vrida you know some shame uh, not shame uh, what would be the right word um like some um yeah vrida is lajja uh, shyness shyness you know glands with some shyness and beautiful smile which is amala valgu very pure beautiful smile uh so one who is affected by such avalokana such glance and such beautiful smile such shri mahadev such lord shiva amadana api sammuhiya he was also bewildered moham praptah he also obtained he also got illusion and then out of shyness or lajja out of shame pinakam he he gave up his bow called pinaka so so it's basically the power of these women is being mentioned here that how even lord shiva got affected by such beautiful women so tah pramo pramadottama such uttama strees such best of the women they by their kuhakai by all their energies you know all their methods of uh, illusioning so they could not shekuhu they they were not able to na sheku who means they were not capable of they didn't they couldn't uh, agitate shobhayutum the mind of shri krishna by all their uh, methods of illusioning someone asaktam anasaktam api tam shri krishnam ayam prakritah lokah atma upamena sva sadrashtena vya pranvanam vya priya manam संगीनम आसक्ति युक्त मनुज प्राकृत मनुष्य मनते जानती यम अबुध अतत्व सो बेसिकली दोज और द पर्सन हू इज फुलिश हू डज नो द ट्रूथ ही इवन दो द लॉर्ड इज अनटैस्ड अनासक्त सच श्री कृष्ण सो इवन सो द फुलिश पर्सन ही कंसिडर सच अनटैच श्री कृष्ण to be prakrita to be material affected by the three modes uh and swa sadrashena and he compares shri krishna with you know his own self such mood her such foolish person atma upamena he considers or he equates krishna with his with his own self and then he considers him to be attached vyapranvanan i think would be 
we'll see what does it mean and he considers him to be a normal human being iti artha we'll have to check this uddam bhava pishunam valgu so uddam is gambhira yah bhava abhipraya tasya pishunah suchakah we'll have to check this gambhira uh, and so on yeah so this is the meaning And also the vya 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 yeah vya vya prindvanam is being engaged in. It says being engaged in. Okay. Uh, okay. The that one. Uddama. Uh, so uddama bhava uddama very grave. Bhava is expression. Pishuna is exciting. Okay. Udama Bhava is very grave expressions. Pishuna is exciting. Amala is spotless. Okay. So basically they are like adjectives of of the smile. Oh yeah. They are just ex, uh, adjectives of smile. Hmm. What yeah. was Abhi, Abhi Praya? I'm sorry, one, one second. Uh, this Vyapran Manan you were saying? No, Abhipraya was um, in the... So, yo, yo Bhava, Abhipraya. So, oh, Abhipraya was the gloss of Bhava, is that right? Uh, yes, it was the gloss of... Yeah, yeah. Okay. तद्वत् so the buddhi the intelligence which has taken shelter of atma you know by anand and so on by being in bliss. So, Atmasthai Tadashraya Buddhi. So, the intelligence by being situated in the self was taken the shelter of the soul, the Atma. So, just like such Buddhi, it doesn't get entangled. Yathana Yujyate. Similarly, Prapancha agataha api Krishna. Krishna who has come in this material world. Prapanche agataha iti prapancha agataha. He doesn't get affected by the happiness and distress and so and, and the other dualities of this material world, of this prakriti, of this nature. Sadhana yujyate. Never ever he is he affected. He nitya meva ayuktaha vartate. He is always. Um, Indifferent, unattached to it. Then Ishasya, Ishwarasya, Ishanam, Aishwaryam, Nama, Eta Deva. So this is the opulence of the Lord. This is very nice. Ishasya, Ishanam, Etat. So out of the six opulences, one is renunciation. So that is being mentioned here. That this is the uh, Aishwarya or opulence of the Lord. Iti Arthaha. Oh. 
Oh, is is thirty nine the last verse here? Can you check? Or oh, let me check. Yeah, thirty nine is the last. Oh, let's complete then. Tamme nire bala mudha ha, strainam chanu vratam raha ha, papraman vidho bharto rishwaram matayo yatha. I think something is wrong here. What is it? Mautyat. Is there a typo? I think it's in the original one itself. Uh huh. huh. The first word, Mautyat. What is that, Mautyat? Oh, that's Mautyat. Mautyat. Oh, right, did right. I did I miss miss type it? Yeah, yeah, some that. So Mautyat. Oh. <laughs> that was tricky. So Mautyat, which means Agnyatvat, by those who are unintelligent. Bhartuhu Swami na Shri Krishna se apraman vidha pramanam yattam mahimanam ajanantya ha. Abala hastriya yatha mataya tasam kalpanam kalpana yatha tatha tamishwaram strainam raha ekante anuvratam cha menire nyat vatya. Okay. So, out of ignorance, or yeah, uh, and not knowing the Greatness, Mahima, the glories of their Lord, Shri Krishna. The woman, the Sri, the Nari. Uh, yatha Matayaha. So, their, you know, imagination, the Kalpana. So, Ishwaram Strainam. So they considered the Lord to be strained, like a henpecked husband, as we say. Strain is a person who is controlled by his three, by woman. So they considered the Lord as strained, and they considered the Lord as one who, who follows them in a like in a solitary place when in a secluded place, like Ekante, when they are alone. Uh, the simple and delicate women truly thought that Lord Shri Krishna, their beloved husband, followed them and was dominated by them. They were unaware of the extent of the glories of their husband. As the atheists are unaware of him as the supreme controller. Yeah, so the same thing. Thus we complete chapter 11 of Canto 1. Haribo. Jai, Haribo. Jai, Jai. Okay, we'll um, resume I the missed, next. I um, missed a, a Pramana Vida. What, what was the Pramana related to? Uh, yeah, Pramana here refers to the Mahimanam. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so basically, so, Mahimanam Ajanantya, those who were not, those who were unaware of the glories. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, we'll resume the next weekend then. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Dhanipad Pranam. Thank you.